I scooped up this guy off the curb a few months ago and have been completely intimidated by it ever since. It's been sitting out here in the garage holding tools and supplies and pretty much just collecting dust waiting for me to work up the nerve to revive this Danish teak dresser. It's got one broken drawer which shouldn't be too hard to fix but the top surface is a complete wreck. It's covered in tons of water damage, rings, and even a few deep burns. When I first brought this home, my plan was to try and revive it, but after consulting a few trusted furniture restoration specialists, they've all advised me that this uber thin veneer is impossible to fix in its current state, and replacing it is a cost that just isn't worth the payoff for this particle board and plastic piece, cool as it may be. So my new plan is to paint the box of the dresser, clean up these awesome drawers and replace the dated kick plate on the bottom with some cool new legs. We are going to be keeping this dresser because we actually have the matching desk in my husband's office space. First things first, I need to give this guy a really good scrub down. It was dirty when I got it, but now it's been sitting in the garage for a few months and has a few layers of paint dust on it as well. I like to use TSP or trisodium phosphate to clean my projects. It's a heavy duty degreasing, deglossing cleaner. I even had to break out my paint scraper to get some old sticker glue off the sides. While everything dries, I'm gonna turn my attention to this broken drawer. I used my paint scraper again to clean off any old crusty glue, and then I placed the drawer bottom back inside its grooves, applied some fresh wood glue, and added a few nails to secure everything in place. I used my utility knife just to clean up this peeling melamine off the back corner, and that can be easily camouflaged with a little fresh white paint. Next up, I flipped the dresser onto its back so that I could remove this kick plate. Then I rolled the dresser all the way upside down so I could get to work on adding my new legs. I bought some new solid wood legs from Amazon that keep with the mid-century lines of this dresser but I was afraid that the middle of the dresser might start to sag over time without some added support. To combat that, I got my husband to cut a piece of plywood and we attached it to the bottom of the dresser. This will provide some added rigidity to the particle board structure that's already there and it's a better surface to screw my new legs into. Once I had measured out where I wanted my new legs to go, we screwed them in. To fill in this plywood texture around the edge, I'm going to smear some drywall spackle here. It's unconventional, I know. I'm using this instead of a traditional wood filler because it will dry quickly and I'll easily be able to sand it super smooth. Once it's primed and painted, no one will ever know. I started out with my putty knife for this but quickly realized that it was easier to use my fingers. Please don't judge me. I did the same thing to cover up the particle board texture on the divider between the drawers as well. Ideally, I would like to use an iron-on veneer edge banding for this, but I'm using what I have on hand and it will definitely get the job done. Once that spackle was dry, I sanded it smooth with a 220 grit sanding block and sealed it all up with two coats of spray on shellac. I am going to be painting this dresser with Sherwin-Williams Urban Bronze. It's their 2021 color of the year and is gonna look fantastic in our office space. To turn this latex paint into the chalk style paint that I love to use on my projects, I'll be mixing it with some BB Froche paint transformer. This is a 100% natural pre-measured additive that allows you to turn any color and any brand of latex into chalk paint without any of the guesswork of trying to figure out your own recipe. 
To make one cup of paint, which is going to be plenty for this dresser, I added two heaping tablespoons of the BB Froche powder to one and a half tablespoons of water until I had a donut glaze consistency. Then I added my paint and mixed it again. Since I already had the dresser upside down, I started by painting two coats on the bottom and legs with my zebra fan brush. While the paint on the bottom of the dresser dried, I turned my attention to the drawers. I used my Surf Prep 3x4 electric ray sander with a medium grit foam abrasive to lightly sand any imperfections off of the drawer fronts. This veneer is thin and I didn't want to risk sanding through it, so I was careful and took my time. They are definitely not perfect, but they are way better than they were. Once I finished with my sanding on the drawers, I removed any dust with a wet cloth. Then I got the dresser standing right way up again and used my sander to smooth out all of the imperfections on the top as well as scuff up the side panels. Then I sealed that top surface with some more spray shellac. That is going to seal in the water rings and water damage so that it doesn't show up through my new painted finish. To reseal the gorgeous teak veneer on the drawer fronts, I'm going to use this Danish oil that I picked up from Lee Valley. I've never used this product before, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions on the can. I used a clean lint-free rag to apply a generous coat of the oil all over the drawer fronts, and then I have to let that sit for eight hours. As soon as that shellac had dried on the top of the dresser, I came back with my paint mixture and painted two coats on the rest of the box. This paint brushed on so nicely with great coverage and almost no brush strokes. The next morning I brought everything inside the house and I decided to seal up my paint with some of Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in Brown. Using a dark colored wax like this over a dark paint color will help me get a nice even look and the brown color will pull out some more of the warm undertones in this gray. I brushed the wax into the paint and then buffed it with a clean lint-free rag for a gorgeous soft matte finish.
The Danish oil on the drawers also needed to be buffed with some super fine steel wool, so I did that as well, and then it was time to put it all back together. I got this dresser off the side of the road for completely free. I spent about $40 on new legs and $20 on all of my paint and supplies. So that puts my all-in investment at about $60. If I were going to list this piece for sale, I think I would spend a little bit more time probably painting the inside of those white melamine drawers. And then I would list it for anywhere between $550 and $600. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with some friends. It helps up my channel so much and lets me continue to bring you a new furniture transformation every single week. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you guys next time.